Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Nissan Qashqai walk around in review and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The Nissan Qashqai has been a big success for the Japanese brand globally, nearly 3.8 million have been produced since 2007, but the UK-built crossover was getting a bit long in the tooth in its later years. That's why Nissan Australia couldn't wait to bring in the all-new third-generation model, which due to a number of delays is launching down under more than a year after our friends in Europe and the UK first started seeing these in showrooms. While from a stylistic perspective it's still recognizable as a Qashqai, Nissan's answer to everything from the Kia Seltos and Mazda CX-30 to the Audi Q3 and BMW X1 is a complete overhaul of its predecessor, with significant developments to design, technology and powertrain. For Australia, there's finally turbo power, as well as the introduction of Nissan's semi-autonomous ProPilot assistance technologies, features that have been available elsewhere for some time but not locally. The Qashqai is a key volume driver for Nissan in the Australian market and also straddles the small and medium SUV segments, the brand has long pitched the nameplate as a Goldilocks or just right SUV in terms of size. That's reflected in the sales numbers too, last year Nissan sold 542 Qashqais, 244 of which were December registrations of the new generation model, given the old one had been out of production for some time. For reference, the 2021 calendar year saw 5,750 units registered down under, and that's a shadow of the nameplate's success last decade, where for some time it was one of the segment leaders. Nissan Australia says it's received strong interest in the new Qashqai, including the upcoming ePower hybrid version coming sometime later this year, and when the media launch drive took place in mid-December the brand had already locked in over 1,500 orders. Mind you, pricing and specifications have been public since July. Prices are up across the board for the new generation Qashqai, with increases of between $3,300 and $8,300 depending on variant, though this is offset by the various developments and healthier spec levels. The base Qashqai estate kicks off from $33,890, climbing to $37,890 for the ST Plus, then $42,190 for the STL and finally $47,390 for the flagship T. Note all prices exclude on-road costs. While the markups aren't unsubstantial, particularly for the higher grades, the Qashqai's positioning is more or less in line with the rest of the VFACTS small SUV segment, and dabbles with entry versions of premium badged alternatives in top-spec T specification. Even though it's at the higher end of the segment, the Qashqai is to the X-Trail what the Skoda Karak and VW Tiguan are to the Kodiak and Tiguan Allspace, big small or small medium, with more space and premium touches than the bulk of rivals. Keep in mind there's an e-power hybrid coming later in 2023, which at this stage will be restricted to STL and T grades. Pricing is still to be confirmed for our market, though we're anticipating a $3,000 to $4,000 premium over the equivalent 1.3-liter turbo petrol. For reference, we only sampled the STL and T grades at launch, which are representative of the supplied images from the press kit, too. We also had a blue Kosh KT over the Christmas holidays, which is featured in the images. With this new generation, Nissan has lifted the Qashqai from one of the Ulcerans in the segment in terms of cabin execution towards the top of the class, particularly as far as the STL and T are concerned. Swaths of soft touch, leatherette padded surfaces, high quality upholstery and high resolution displays all combine to offer a tangibly upmarket ambience, giving the likes of the Mazda CX-30 some proper competition, and even the more premium Marquez. State Plus and Up score a huge 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system featuring wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto, as well as embedded satellite navigation with live traffic updates, AM FM DAB Plus digital radio, six-speaker audio, as well as USB-A and USB-C connectivity up front.